The kind of guns. Okay, so over this last weekend, I was in Ibadan shooting with the newer i60 with my friend Deji Ayola. He's a photographer and I really needed his help to really test out this strobe and push it to its limits because, well, I am not a photographer. I think the funniest part was I am not even a Canon shooter and my version of this strobe was Canon compatible only. I shoot Fujifilm, so it was a bit tricky. But at the end of the day, I had a friend who had a Canon 80D with a Nifty 50, which was perfectly compatible with the newer i60. And the newer i60, by the way, is a 600 watt flash that's going to give you high speed sync up to one eight thousandth of a second and you'd be absolutely fine, which I thought was absolutely insane. Now, this is mostly advertised as an outdoor flash, but of course, we tested it indoors first and it worked like a champ. Then we took it outside and really really pushed it. My guys were shooting 1 8,000th of a second, 1 4,000th of a second and it was like nothing, you know? Now I feel like not being any kind of photographer puts me in a unique position to actually review this device because I went in there with like baby eyes ready to learn, ready to understand and I came out with a lot of things that absolutely shocked me. For example, when we were indoors, there was the part where I learned that this thing has something called a modeling lamp and that basically helped me out with my low light video since I didn't really want to turn on any other lights and interfere with the flash photography that was going on. Now, another really interesting thing was the fact that I charged the battery for this thing full before the shoot and we basically shot for like half of a day firing off shorts. And yes, while it did get warm, a single bar of battery did not drop. I mean, I kept looking at the back of the strobe, trying to see if it dropped a bar, if it dropped a couple of bars or something, but throughout the day while we were shooting, in direct sunlight even, it was going on like a champ. Now the ex-decagon that we used to shoot with this was like 120 centimeters. like this was from a third party brand, not newer, but it worked perfectly. I mean, it's Bowen's mount, so it pretty much attaches to almost everything that's Bowen's compatible. But anyways, here are some sample photos from the shoot that we had that day. Now, the recycle time for this strobe is something around 0.2 seconds to 1 second, which is pretty fast. And of course, the wireless trigger requires a battery to function, I think these are AA batteries, and it works for around 50 meters walking distance, which I think is pretty fair. And I think the only con that I probably noticed with this trigger is that when you're shooting at 1 8,000th of a second, if you don't wait to listen for the flash to sync, you will miss some shots. But of course, I'm not even really sure if this is a con considering you do have to listen to make sure that your flash is synced before you start firing off shots. This doesn't really become a problem except you're trying to fire off 7 frames per second and you're squeezing your trigger or something. Yeah, you're not really going to notice. So let's say when you're continuous shooting, you're going to miss around 20 to 25% of your shots, which isn't great, but it's not terrible either. And remember, this is only a possibility if you're shooting all the way up to 1 8,000th of a second and that's pretty rare that you would need to be shooting at that shorter speed anyway. Bottom line is, I had a fantastic time testing out this strobe and a huge thanks to the guys at New York for sending this out to me. Thanks to Deji for helping me out with this shoot, a huge thanks to Ifyanyi for letting us use his camera, thanks to Taiwo for modeling for us, and I did throw in a few modeling shots of my own myself, I mean, I didn't do very badly. But anyway, that was basically my experience shooting with the newer i60EX 600W TTL iSpeed Sync Studio Outdoor Strobe, whatever you want to call it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys on another video that was shot by Kagan. Peace.